Right folks, ready for a bit of a bracing jaunt along the Cumbrian coast? No glorious sunshine today I'm afraid. We've got ourselves one of those classic British winter days where the cloud has seeped into your actual bones. No matter, here we are in Maryport, a little harbour town that punches above its weight in history. This place was a port for those feisty Romans, part of that Hadrian's Wall extravaganza. Then later on, you got folks digging coal like mad and shipping it everywhere. You can probably still taste the grit in the air. Talking of grit, that's what we'll need today to tackle this icy wind. All right, we're kicking off here by the Senhouse Roman Museum. I must confess, I'm giving it a pass today. Too chilly for those old relics. But if you're into ancient stones and grumpy emperors, well, here it is. Let's warm up on this blustery walk instead. Right, well this path feels surprisingly civilised. Imagine this back in the Roman day, probably dodging more seagulls than legionnaires. I tell you, this Solway Firth is vast. You can just about make out the coast of Scotland way over there, looking even chillier than us in this grey light. Now, you might find me daft, but there's a sense of space here that gets me every time. I feel like I can finally take a proper breath away from the city crush. Despite the frostbite setting in, that's worth a bit of a shivery suffering, don't you think? Look at this. Some brave souls kicked up a bit of green space here by the looks of it. The Millennium Green. Probably not ideal for picnics this time of year, mind you. Can imagine if the sun ever pops out this would be a proper little community spot. Right, the lure of a hot cuppa was far too strong, had to pop away from the seafront there. Maryport's town centre, well, she's seen better days, let's be kind. But listen, I stumbled upon this gem called Annabelle's Tea Room, proper old fashioned fare. Just what you need on a winter storm. Got myself a steaming mug and a cheese toasty. Staff in there were lovely, that Cumbrian warmth we're always grateful for. Alright, belly full and a bit more feeling in my toes, heading back towards the water and check this out, Mary Port's getting artsy. A bit of colour peeking through those grey terraces. Can't say I quite understand what it's all about, but that's good in a way, isn't it? Gets you thinking while you keep up the pace. Here's one for all you salty sea dogs, the Mary Port Maritime Museum. Now I have to confess, I missed my chance to explore this one. Still, the outside is impressive enough. It makes you imagine all the shipbuilders and sailors knocking about this town back in the glory days. Now we'll pop across this bridge over the River Ellen and follow the coastal path around. Let's see what surprises the afternoon holds. Hang on a minute. What's this commotion ahead? Looks like an aquarium. Lake District Coast Aquarium, they're calling it. Honestly, what a spectacle. Even in this near freezing weather, there are families wrapped up like Eskimos trying their hand at the mini golf. Kids squealing, parents grimacing with numb fingers. Now that's dedication to seaside fun, if I've ever saw it. I think I'll admire their bravery from afar for now. Ah, here we go. Maryport Marina. Bit quieter in the off season, naturally. Boats all huddle tight for warmth like us. Can still picture this place hive of activity come summer. Wonder what it's like setting sail into the sunset from here with the whole Solway ahead of you. That's one for a different day, maybe when we're not in danger of hypothermia. Now this, friends, is a classic. The Maryport Lighthouse. Reckon it's the oldest cast iron lighthouse in the entire country. They built it way back in the 1840s makes you think of all the ships it guided in, weathered who knows how many storms out there, a proper bit of nautical history, right before our eyes. Leaving the town behind us now, getting back into the wells of the Solway's coastline, that wind cuts right through you. It's all hardy grasses and stubborn plants that thrive out here. Imagine how exposed this path would be on a truly stormy day. Not sure if I fancy tackling that, to be honest. Maybe we'll save the big adventures for a sunnier time. Following alongside the River Ellen now, heading back towards Maryport. The wind hasn't let up, 
still whistling in my ears. Look up ahead though, see the big green mound dominating the town, they call it the Mott. Guessing folks built it in the medieval time for defence. Gives you a real sense of how long people have settled in this little corner of the world. Final stretch up here, a final battle against the wind. Worth it though, you won't get a better view of the Solway coastline than this. That vastness puts me right in my place somehow. Bit humbling, isn't it? Alright, time to defrost in the car, but may report, thank you for a bracing bit of history and seaside chill. And there you have it folks, a classic Cumbrian coast adventure with an added dash of January frost. Remember, the best views sometimes come from the coldest winds. Hope you'll join me again soon on the Highland Hiker channel for more walks and a bit of daft rambling. Until then, 